Welcome to Dwarven Kager, I'm Rob. I'm Tanner. And today we are reviewing Big Sky Brewing Company's Big Sky. Trout Slayer. Slayer Trout. This is a wheat pale ale. Ooh. It is 5% alcohol by volume. It has 35 IBUs, 151 calories, and 12 carbs per can. 12 carbs. So that means we're going to split it, so we'll have six apiece. I Because, you know, I really watch my carbs. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a car he's a carb Nazi. I will like to say I will, you will like, like to say I will like to say I am in love with rustic style kind of um, outdoorsman. <laughs> oh, just give me all of the head, damn dude! <laughs> just give me all of the head. And uh, Trout Slayer. I mean, you got this awesome awesome picture. You guys can probably see that a little bit. You know, Montana just roughing it, manly men doing man shit. I love the can. You know what? I say we get into it. I say we get into it. He gets mean. When he Did you it. stop it and record it again? Yep. Okay. He gets mean when he doesn't take naps. Ready? Yep. Lean over to me. And we're back. All right. I still have miles of head on mine, but let's smell. You're welcome. Yeah. I mean, it smells good. Uh, it smells like a weedy pale ale. I get a little bit of I get a little bit of the pale ale going on, a little bit of the pine, but I don't get anything spectacular. No, no, it's kind of a it's kind of a muted, muted like taste. pine, but there's some pineapple in there. I mean, there's some straight pineapple. Yeah, there's some fruit. There's some fruit on the top of that weedy pale pale smell. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. Well, mine's fifty percent head still, but it's getting there. Um, yeah, it's nice. Uh, let's get into it. Oh wow, interesting. That's neat. Not what I expected. Because it doesn't taste like a pale ale. It does not. It tastes mm -hmm. like a wheat beer that um, a pale ale like walked by and said, "Pale ale." Or like a, a pale ale walked by it and like farted on it. And that's the kind of flavor you get. Oh. Yeah, they're rushing out to buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> they're rushing out to buy it now. That's weird. Yeah. It's a weird fart taste. You know, what's interesting about it is, I mean, if you had to split your tongue up into three different sections. As I soon, could do that for you. On the, first, on the first part of your tongue, right, I get pale ale. I'm drinking a pale ale. Here we go. The second and third part of the tongue, though, it's wheat beer. It's soft. I don't even get it on the, on the front end. Really? Oh, I do. Yeah, no, I, get I get it on the front, and then I. Get I guess it. I'm just uh, I'm just used to like normal, regular IPAs that have. You are more of an IPA person than I am. I'm just not. I'm used to like that 45 to 60 range. Um, for my non-IPA drinkers, though, tell you what, pale ales are a great way to dip the toes into the uh, IPA world. Because you get some of what IPAs typically offer. Please stop doing that. You get some of what IPAs offer, but you don't have to commit to the full like bitter like ah, taste. This is pretty good. Eat that all day. It's not my life. It's pretty good. Uh, nothing spectacular about it, but it's uh, a bigger tail with every ale. There we go. Trout Slayer. You're a fish one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I catch like trout to, around here. You like to catch fishies? I do. I do. I catch trout around here. Holes. I do. And you line your hook. I do. That is typically how fishing occurs. Yes. I don't know. I like to stab things. Yeah. You like gigging? Fishing. You like gigging? I'm not. I'm not doing frogs. You can. Uh, well, I, I call it gigging, but you can uh, gig. It's because you're a fucking hick. Hey, you can gig uh, frog around here. You can gig carp. I mean, you can eat carp. Um, how do you go from being able to say both? To frog around here. Uh, it's my complex upbringing. Uh, that being said, while interesting, nothing's following me. No, it's not. It's not the most amazing of beers. I mean, we like Big Sky personally. We've always had decent Big Sky brewery. They've like they've done well by us. And this isn't this isn't awful. Like it's not. this is this just tastes like a standard wheat beer with a, maybe a little bitterness. Yeah, I don't even get a lot of bitterness though, honestly. I mean, tr truthfully, do you get a lot of bitterness? No, I get a little. Just a little. Yeah, it's, it's, 35 IBUs are hidden pretty yeah, well. Yeah, pretty well. 
That being said, am I ever going back to this? Probably not. If it's on tap, I'd probably give it another run. With most beers, if it's in can or bottle, I'm going to give it another try on tap if I have the option. Kind of like Duchess de Magon. De Magon. Um, yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, I give it a very respectful two. I give it... I, you know what? I'm actually going to agree with you on this. Yeah, I think res- that it, 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 res- deserves, it deserves respectfully... Too. I'm not. I'm not shitting on it. Um, it's just a two. It's. It's not wowing me. It's not upsetting me. I'm very neutral about it. It's the guy sitting in the corner. What's that say? Um, with every ale, like subscribe. No, no. Hold on, just a second. It's, it's the finer print. <laughs> like, subscribe. Hit that little bell at the bottom. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorvin Kager shenanigans. And if you are looking forward to support the craziness here at Dorvin Kager, then check us out on that Patreon link. Hello. Drop a comment, recommend a beer, say hi. Say we'll, hi. We like it when you say We hi. respond to everybody. Mm. I respond to everyone. Yeah, that's more accurate. Yeah, yeah, that's more accurate. Until next uh, time. Hey, check out, check out our cigar reviews. They're amazing. Dom does a crack-up job, and he does a really good job. Check we're out trying to get our hands into rants now. Into what? Rants. Yeah, we're going to rant. Um, we got some DK shenanigans coming out at you. We thought it'd be fun to let you guys see a little bit more of kind of like the stupidness that occurs in our life on a regular basis. We're going to be filming a little later tonight. Um, we're playing some Vampire the Masquerade. Um, uh, Vampire the Requiem. The Requiem? Yeah. See, it's the first edition Requiem, you plebe. Anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Clinky. It's worth another drink, but not a finish. Yeah, I agree. It's not worth a finish. It's not good. I don't like it. It's worth a try, though. Yeah, I mean, that's it's a cool name. It is a cool name. It's cold art. It's just a... Just a...